afternoon, UDA. I'm Kate Boyer. And I'm Ben Paul, and we're reporting for TNN, Trojan News Network. Today, we start with a special story and some recent events in our art department. Congratulations to the following art students for placing in the top three at the Susquehanna Banks Art Show recently held at the Millersburg office. In the drawing and other media category, Ryan Straub Fisher placed third, Caitlin Marr placed second, and Katie Kaler took first place. In the oil category, Megan Mensch placed second, while Kylie Wirtz claimed first place. In the final category of watercolor, Amber Cup and Amber placed third, and Felicity Sponsler took second place. Congratulations to these students and all the other UDA art students whose works are currently hung in an outstanding show again this year. Thanks to their hard work, the arts are very much alive again this year at UDAHS. Keystones will be administered tomorrow and Wednesday. Please check in the main office or guidance office for your room assignment. Please remember pencils and calculators. I'm glad I don't have to take them. Me too. <laughs> the new December scholarship list is now available in the guidance office. Varsity jacket order forms are now available for pickup in the athletic office. Varsity jackets will be sized on Thursday, December 12th during first and second lunches for varsity letter winners wishing to order a varsity jacket. Please see Mrs. Shell for an order form and more information. Any student interested in voting for the best allegory written by the senior class should do so in the library. Reminder to FBLA members, your fundraiser and money is due to Mrs. Kasner no later than today, December 9th. So don't forget to hand in your order form and money to Mrs. Kasner. Sports season started underway this past weekend, and TNN sports team has been working hard behind the scenes to bring you previews of each of our winter sports teams. Over the next several broadcasts, we will feature a different sport for the upcoming winter season. Today, we will take a peek at the 2013-2014 Lady Trojan basketball team, who will open league play this evening at home against the Wildcats of Greenwood. I'm Peyton Kennerly, and I'm here at the girls basketball scrimmage to get an inside look of this upcoming season. So Shelly, when and where is your first game? Uh, first game is on Friday at Camp Hill. It's at Camp Hill. Friday at Camp Hill. So Jess, who do you think your biggest competition is this year? The Indians at Now Taylor, what are your team goals for this year? Our team goals this year are to compete with every team we play and to end up getting a home district game. Home district game. I'm here with Coach Hoffman, the head coach of the Upper Dolphin girls basketball team. So Coach, what do you expect from our girls this season? Before I get to that, Jackson, do they have anybody prettier to do this? <laughs> I'm not being... Okay, what up? Karen, Karen. Yeah, Karen. Is yeah, that what yeah. I said? Thanks, no, Jackson. Anyway, no, I'll tell you what I expect. Yeah. I expect uh, a bunch of girls to go out there and play hard every single night. Uh, I'm very confident they will. And uh, we're going to win some games this year. There's no doubt about it. Looking forward to it. Uh, me too. That sounds excellent. Back to you, TNN. In sports action over the weekend, both the boys and girls basketball teams opened the season with a tip-off tournament. The boys traveled to the Tulpehawken tip-off tournament where they defeated Kutztown on Friday evening 69-49. The Trojans were led by junior Joey Trentley's 21 points, including five three-pointers. The Trojans then faced the Tulpehawken Trojans in the finals on Saturday night, falling 49-36. Mack Nye had 18 points in the loss. The Lady Trojans traveled to Camp Hill's tip-off tournament, where they squared away against the Crimson Tide from Columbia on Friday. Sophomore Laura Swegger netted 17 points to lead the Lady Trojans to a 50-43 victory. The girls then faced the Lady Bobcats of Northeastern in the finals Saturday evening. UDA battled hard, but was unable to recover from the 21-7 first quarter deficit. Senior Mackenzie Miller and junior Taylor Brown both scored nine points to lead the Lady Trojans. Great start to the season for both teams, and good luck to all the teams who open with league play this week. Today's Monday Memory Moment. To stick with our basketball theme, on this day in 1978, the first game of the Women's Pro Basketball League, or the WBL, was played between the Chicago Hustle and the Milwaukee Does. Nice. Lunch on Tuesday will be breaded pork chop with gravy and bread, seasoned green beans, and apple slices. Don't forget to come out and support Our Lady Trojans this evening. Game time at 7 p.m. I better see you in the student section. I'll be there. Me too. 
Thanks for tuning in today. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to stay classy. classy.